This is me in year 10. I had no idea how to study. You see, in year nine, life was simple. Whatever tests our school gave us were easy. All I had to do when revising was just read the slides or a textbook, and that was enough to secure the top grades. But then year 10 came around and I started my GCSEs and I got humbled. All of a sudden, the studying techniques that I thought were gonna carry me throughout school and university stopped working. No matter how much I would read the textbook and make notes, I would still get a five on my physics unit test. That's when I realized that I need to learn how to learn. And when I started using flashcards, that was the moment when everything clicked. Let me explain. We can break up any subject into these three elements. Now you can get this Venn diagram as well as a guide on how to use it using the first link in the description. For this video, let's focus on memorization. Most subjects that people take at GCSEs and A-levels will include memorization. Physics, chemistry, biology, English lit, English lang, business, I could keep going. They all require memorization. But to understand memorization, we need to understand two specific concepts active recall and space repetition. Think of active recall as actually engaging with the content instead of just passively reading. That's the first step of memorization. The second step is to do active recall at spaced intervals of time. And that's what spaced repetition is. Now, flashcards combine these two concepts extremely effectively, which is why when I started using flashcards, I automatically jumped to nines in most of my subjects. But there's an issue. Most people don't do flashcards right. And the biggest reason why people can't get the top grades even though they're using flashcards is that they're using physical flashcards. I remember in the beginning of year 11 when I first started using flashcards, I went out and bought a whole deck of cards that I was gonna use to make the flashcards. And so I started writing down questions and answers and making them look all aesthetic, but I didn't last a day. I quickly realized that there's a faster way to do things. And so here's three reasons why you should be using digital flashcards over physical flashcards, especially if you're trying to jump up letter grades. And yes, letter grades, plural. It's possible, even before the start of the exam season. Now, the first reason is very simple. Typing is way faster than writing. Take a look at this. The average writing speed is 13 words per minute. The average typing speed though, 40 words per minute. And mind you, that's the average typing speed. But if you're used to using social media, which you are, you're watching this video right now, then you're probably even faster than 40 words per minute. In fact, I did a test and I got 87 and I've never practiced typing. Not only that though, typing is a skill that you could get faster at. Writing, you can't really. There's a ceiling as to how fast you could write. But for the sake of argument, let's just say that the average typing speed is 40 words per minute and the average writing speed is 13. Now let's imagine two people. Person A and person B. They're both revising for their GCSE biology paper one. Person A wants to cover the whole syllabus using physical flashcards, while person B wants to do the same exact thing, but they're gonna use digital flashcards instead. Since the average typing speed is three times as fast as the average writing speed, if it takes person A 15 hours to cover all of the content, then it's gonna take person B only five hours. And so when it comes to GCSE biology paper one alone, person B has saved 10 hours. Do you know how much you could do in 10 hours? Now a common objection is, but writing it down makes me remember it more. So I'll just stick to the physical flashcards. Now listen, I don't doubt that writing something down will help you remember it more. There's scientific backing to this. But let's go back to person A and person B. Just like before, person A spent 15 hours covering all of the content that needs to be covered. Person B spent five hours also covering that content by using digital flashcards instead of physical. This time, person B uses an extra hour just to go through all of the flashcards again and really make sure that they've memorized and understood everything. All of a sudden, person B has the same, if not a higher level of memorization than person A. And guess what? They've still saved nine hours. And so even though there is a benefit in writing down information, the time it takes to do so is just not worth the trade-off. So instead of making physical flashcards, if you make digital flashcards, and then you dedicate just a little bit of time to going through those flashcards again, you're gonna see the same exact benefit, if not more, while still saving time. Now, the second reason why you should use digital flashcards over physical flashcards is because of spaced repetition. Remember, like we said before, memorization requires both active recall and spaced repetition. But how do you actually do spaced repetition? Do you go through all of your flashcards once a week? Do you only go through the topics that you struggled with? But what if you only struggle through a couple of cards in a certain deck? Do you then have to go through the whole deck just to work on those specific cards? All of those questions, you're gonna have to take into account if you're using physical flashcards. But if you're using digital flashcards, there are algorithms that will help you solve all of these questions. Most flashcard makers these days have spaced repetition algorithms that will help you prioritize the cards and decks that you need to work on. If you know the definition of osmosis letter by letter, you don't necessarily have to go through it every single week. That's just a waste of time. But if you're still unsure about the process of mitosis, 
then you might want to go through it every couple of days. If you're using physical flashcards, that's a headache to deal with. But if you're using digital flashcards, it's just as simple as opening the app and going through the flashcards. Now, in terms of which flashcard maker you should use, there's many out there. The most famous one is Anki. I personally use another one called Anki app. They're not related, but it really just depends on what you like. Now, unfortunately, I'm not sponsored by any of them as much as I'd like to be. So this opinion is completely unbiased. Now, the third reason why you should use digital flashcards over physical flashcards is that you're going to have them on you no matter where you are. You know when the best time to go through your flashcards is? It's not while sitting down on your desk like your normal study routine. Instead, it's during those wasted minutes throughout the day. That 15 minute car ride or the five minutes at the shops while your mom is getting something or that morning and afternoon bus ride. If you add it up, you're going to notice that you probably waste an hour or even two a day just waiting for different things to happen. That's exactly when you should go through your flashcards but you can't do that if you didn't bring your massive deck of physical flashcards with you let's be honest there's absolutely nobody carrying around their physical flashcards anticipating that they're going to go through them in their free time you know what you always have on you though a phone and most flashcard makers have a dedicated app that you could use to go through your flashcards anywhere at any time when i was in my gcse and a level years if I was in the car or waiting for something, instead of going on Instagram and brain rotting, I would instead choose to go through a deck of flashcards or two. The amount of time that this little hack has saved me is just unimaginable. Now, those were the three reasons why you should ditch physical flashcards and make digital flashcards instead. And if you're doing your GCSEs or A-levels and you want to jump up at least three grades before the exam season comes and the exam season is right around the corner, then I have a program that has helped dozens of students just like you make that jump. You get a whole video program, a personalized study plan, access to a community of like-minded students and weekly Q&A calls with myself. So if you're serious about your academic journey and you want to lock in and get the top grades, then click the second link in the description.